Hey, this is Andy and Jason from Howard Brothers Duluth. How you doing? Um, so we're doing another recipe today, Jason. I saw this on one of my cousin's Facebook page. I know. It's a crock pot recipe, and this is exactly what we do around here. We see recipes that uh, folks share. Or we, you know, somebody talks about it, and then we say, "Well, let's try it on a trigger, right?" Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a um, what is this thing called? It is a cheesy potato bacon soup. Soup. And for this time of year, today is a yeah. Very cold day out, and I love soups in, in the winter. So, you shared this with me. I'm like, hey, let's, let's try it. So, we've got a <clears throat> what is the thing? A Dutch, Dutch oven. oven. Yep. Um, we've got a cube of cream cheese we've already cubed up. <clears throat> um, we've got a container of chicken broth. chicken broth. Got a can of Campbell's Cremo chicken soup. Um, we've got a bag of hash browns, diced potatoes. Um, so, these are frozen. Um, the recipe I saw, I saw three cups of cheese, but we're just gonna go ahead and throw four. four. Yeah. And then we got a half, too cheesy. That's right, um, half cup of bacon. Oh yeah, the bouillon cube, which is weird because you know we got all of this chicken stock. Yeah. And so, okay, so we never tried this before, we're gonna try it today, so here we go. So this might end up being a chicken potato bacon soup. Yes. But it's supposed to be a potato bacon soup. Yeah, so first thing, Jason, we're gonna add the, the whole container of chicken stock, right? Chicken stock. Yeah, so mm -hmm. let you add that in there. This is really exciting, riveting. I can't wait. Look can't wait it. to see what this is going to taste like. Yeah, I'm All right, you already cubed up the. Um, there it goes to the last drop. <laughs> oh, uh, next is going to be the cream o chicken soup. Yeah. That is a big old spatula that we've got here for this, but and it's getting chickeny. It is chicken, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Bacon, cheesy, hash brown, but it didn't actually say chicken in the name, did it? No, it didn't. Um, yeah. And one of the coolest things we liked about it, or at least personally I did, is basically you don't really have to cook anything. Like the hash brown's already frozen, ready to go. You buy the bacon bits, real bacon bits, already ready to go. Um, just talk about a really quick and easy soup to make. Yeah. And uh, sounds like it's gonna taste real good. I'm Trigger's already so, easy, right? So yeah, that's uh, enough. True. Um, and um, I guess I could use this whisk that we've got here on the field. Um, the, the tray is already easy, but then just, you know, as far as prep goes, there's just nothing involved in this. Yeah. So, um, all right, I'll let you whisk the, um, cream cheese in it. And of course, this cream cheese is going to melt down. Um, as it cooks. Um, also, what, uh, you the recipe you actually got was, they do this in a crock pot, um, but we absolutely love cooking on the Traeger out here, so any chance we can, we do it. Um, and the Traeger should do it nice. So it's not, Riley, you can come over and look at this. It's not, it's not finished, obviously, but we're gonna continue to stir this when we put it on the grill. There's the bouillon cube. <laughs> Okay, next with the hash browns. Just throw those on top. That's simple. Yeah, and it, it does say that once we get this going, as you can see, the cream cheese was still kind of cubed and the uh, the uh, bouillon cube. So as it's cooking periodically, we're gonna come yeah. out and just stir it up, make sure it gets nice, and then out comes the good stuff. Cheddar, lots of mm -hmm. cheese. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, keep it coming. All right. Now, will we cover this when we cook it on our trigger? I'm gonna, I don't know. Remember, we're just trying this out. There it is. You want the bacon now? Because the crock pot, you have to cover it. So. Yeah, that's true. All right, yep. All right, thank you. I gotta admit, that looks pretty dang tasty already. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna stir this up a little bit and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this over on the grill and uh, on the Traeger and stir it up periodically until it's nice and bubbly and I guess the hash browns are done. Let's do it. All right, so we're over here at the grills now. As you see, here's our bacon potato cheese soup that might be turned into a chicken potato bacon cheese soup. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. So we're gonna get it here. We're turning up the uh, Traeger, get it up to 350 degrees. And we're just gonna throw this booger on here. And then periodically come back and uh, stir it up.
until it's nice and melty and uh, have ourselves a nice warm cup of right. soup. It's been about 25 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and open up this uh, Dutch oven and give it a little stir to make sure everything's continuing to melt together. Right, yeah, cheese on top is starting to melt already. That's good. So I'm going to keep doing this probably every 20, 25 minutes uh, just until it's all nice and melted and warmed up and then uh, we're gonna warm up our own bellies. All right, so we've been uh, periodically coming up about every 20 minutes, uh, stirring the, stirring it up. And I think we're just about done here. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, look at that bubbling. I think we are ready to try this dish out. I'm ready to eat it. So we're gonna go eat it and then we'll let you know what we think of it. Here we go. All right, All right let's eat it, Jason. It smells, it smells incredible. Hot. <laughs> Ooh, hot. The potatoes are cooked. Perfect. Perfect. I mean, so, yeah. Cheesy. The bacon. You can taste the bacon. Yeah. Wow. I'll tell you what. Very, very easy. Okay, so Riley. Very easy. Very simple. You could do other things to this. So you could, like, if you put some sour cream in it or some chives, chives yep. uh, make like a baked potato soup. Yep. I mean, but you could, you could change out the bacon and put meat in there. Yeah. Right. Chopped just, up ham or yeah, pork yeah, or whatever. turkey for that matter. Yeah, you really could. But I just can't get over very easy. How easy this yeah. was to make. I mean, literally, we had to cook nothing ahead of time. Just the sheer simplicity of alone is a, a, a five out of five yeah. stars to make. Yep. And then uh, easy. And you can feed a lot of people for a very small amount of you know food. It didn't awesome. cost much. Yeah, yeah. Not at all. Awesome. All right. Try something on a trigger today. Thanks a lot.